guys in this video we will learn how to add ajax pagination in laravel application so i already captured the video for how to add simple pagination in laravel so you can watch that so because i already set up over here laravel application and simple pagination example so let me show you quickly that one so if i go here you can see that i simply created you can see the route and here is the controller where I simply add the pagination and if i go to the res uh, resource file so you can see that simple i add the pagination now what i need to do you can see that page 2 it refreshing the page you can see that page 1 but what i need to do first if i go and go to the inspect element here you can see that let me go here like when i click over here like a pagination class inside the a tag when i click on click on it i need to call ajax okay so let me go here and let me show you the example okay so let me go first we need to use the ajax so i am going to use directly cd and for jquery so i am simply copy it okay and simply paste it over here and save it and now let me write the script over here okay first what i will do i will simply call document dot on and i will say click event and you can see here if i go here there is a pagination class in ul ul tag so simply go and pagination inside a we will call function and we will pass e so here we will simply add prevent default okay so it's not refresh the page okay so simply add here and here i will add the url okay i will simply call click this at at ttr and i will say href okay simply you can see here when i go to the app page you can see that href attribute and i'm getting the url from there okay and now i will create one function like fetch data and i will pass the url on that okay and simply i will create one function over here call fetch data and pass the url okay here i will write the ajax request so i will say ajax and inside that i will pass first type so it will be a get request so i will say get and i will say url so i will pass the url and i will pass data type because we are returning only html view so i will say simply html and if success like get the response on the function so i will call function over here function okay and now you can see here here i will get the html response so simply right now i will make console.log and response yeah you can see that here it's already calling the user's route so if i go here into the user's controller i simply check over here if there is ajax like i will say request is ajax then it should be return view and i will say users dot data okay i will create a new view for it so i will say compact and i will pass the users variable over here simply save it and let me create the users over here so simply go and i will say data dot plaid dot php okay now what i will do simply go here and i will simply copy this all the tables things so i will simply save it over here and put it over here okay save it okay and now simply save and now let me check it right now okay simply refresh and go to the console log if i click on second page you can see that i got the html response so now now what i will do simply go here and i will give the id to the t body so like table data simply save it and here i will do dollar dot html and i will simply add the response save it okay and now if i go and refresh it if i click on second you can see that page is not reloading you can see here yeah and now also let me remove this one as well so i will simply include the our already we created our users data so i will simply call users dot data simply save it okay and now if i go here and refresh it 
you can see page one page two page three and you can see that page is not reloading so i hope guys this understand how easily you can write ajax request over here and you can do the pagination over here using the ajax so i hope guys this video understand well if you like my video then subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching